Napa Valley apartment complex decided to change its parking rules and now a tenant wants to know what his rights are. He did reach out to our Let Joe Know team and here is Joe Ducey. More than 1,100 Arizona consumers turned to our Let Joe Know team for help last month. Some just want answers and understanding their rights. Tim let us know he received this email from his apartment complex, Tides at Deer Valley, notifying residents of a new policy. They're not allowed to back into a parking space or they'll be towed. Tim tells us he's disabled and his assigned spot has a pole, making it impossible to open his door fully if he doesn't back in park. He's currently waiting for new tags, allowing him to use disabled parking spots. We called and emailed Tides at Deer Valley repeatedly, asking why they're changing the parking policy and if exemptions will be made for people like Tim. The office said they'd get back to us, but they did not. So what are your rights? With the exception of disabled parking and fire lanes, parking laws generally don't apply on private property like apartment lots. Ken Vogt, founder of Arizona Tenants Advocates Association says, it's a contractual issue. Unless it violates some other law, which would be uh, included in the Landlord-Tenant Act as a supplementary, supplementary provision of law, um, it's, it's an agreed contractual term. And uh, that's, there's nothing you can really do about it. While back-end parking isn't necessarily illegal, it is against department rules. So why would an apartment care how someone parks? Well, in Arizona, only rear license plates are required, so if someone backs in, it's going to be hard to check plates and tags. Know your rights. We put links to the Arizona Residential Landlord and Tenant Act online at abc15.com slash letjoeknow. I'm Investigator Joe Ducey. If you got a problem, let me know.